<clears throat> so we're gonna start from side control. So we've made it to side control he's gotten here. So the first thing I'm looking to do is to get my frames in. All right, so I'm gonna get my elbow inside of his hip. If he's super tight on me, then I have to like side bend, get my elbow in. Now I wanna get this hand under his head. So I might have to bridge and push and slide this under, and I'm going thumb in the armpit right here so that I can connect to him and I'm in this position. From here, I'm gonna bridge again, and my whole goal is just to get my left elbow inside his arm. So I bridge and I swim this in. Once my elbow pops in, I have my underhook here. As I get that underhook, I'm gonna be raising this arm and that's either gonna push him up or depending on the side, I might sl be sliding me down. Either one is, is fine. Once I slide down, that hand's gonna to connect to the far hip and this arm's coming under his leg and connecting right here. My goal here is to connect my chest to his hip, all right? And it looks like a goofy position and it doesn't look like much, but this is where I wanna be. Because now all I'm looking for is, is his response. Usually from here they start driving in and then I'm just gonna roll him over. We're gonna come right up to our leg drag position. All right, so we're just gonna start with this. <clears throat> so again, we're here. A side bend, get my elbow in. Bridge, get this hand in, all right? Bridge again, elbow in, under up. From here, I'm lifting and sliding. This arm's coming around the leg. This one comes around and tries to reach all the way around to the front of his hip if you can. Getting to there, and I connect my chest to his hips, all right? So if he drives in, we roll him over. If he sits here and he doesn't do anything, I continue to come up and around the corner. Now that I'm up, all I'm gonna do is lift his knee. And it sits him on his hip. And we go to leg drive, right? So, if he drives in, I just fall back to my back and roll him over. If he doesn't, then I just come up to my knees, lift his knee and sit him on his hip. All right, and we go back to our leg drag position that we've been working on. So um, let's play with that. If you've been doing the leg drag stuff and you wanna throw in any of the finishes from there, that's fine too. But let's work on just getting to that leg drag, right? Let's do it, three, two, one. So the first one we're gonna do is just off a, you know, a very basic guard pass. So um, the most common guard pass in jiu-jitsu is the knee slice pass. So as they're knee slicing, if I can just simply tuck my arm and get under and get control and get the underhook, um, like I'm back in the same, back in the same situation, right? So if Hazel starts stepping in and starts hitting his knee slice, right? If I just stay tight to where I've got my underhook here when I want it, right? I don't want to dig it right away because he's just going to pummel back to his own underhook, right? So I'm just going to keep this tight. And as he continues to work his knee slice, I'm just trying to get this elbow inside his knee, all right? And then now I can bump him in the butt and I'm right back here. And then I'm connected again, right? So he thinks he just hit a cool little guard pass. Right, and what normally happens right here is when I get to this spot, because he thinks he's passed, is he continues to try to come around the side to get to his normal side control, and he just ends up sweeping himself. It makes it even easier. <laughs> the more they come around and try to go towards your head to get control, the easier it is to sweep. So I just kind of let them just drive into me, and it just off balances them even more, right? <clears throat> So again, he steps in, he gets here. I'm just staying tight with my elbows, right? So from here, I'm just bumping him and I'm connected again, right? I'm right back in. Now I can either come up, lift the knee, drive in, get to my leg drive, or if he drives back in, we can roll him, right? Same situation. We're just doing it right off that knee cut. But the biggest thing is, is as he comes in, I'm just keeping my elbows tight. You know, so I pinch the ankle, like I'm grabbing quarter guard. I'm like, oh no, he's passing, right? And then I bump him, get my underhooks. And then I can roll him or I can come up. Make sense? Right? Um, for those who are getting, you know, to that leg drag position, start adding in the different finishes. You know, if, if you've been here for those, <laughs> All right, I get to my leg drag, 
I can fall over, look for that 411 finish. All right, we have that. If he flares the knee back into me, we had our roll through to the back, all right? I can get here and grab the cradle, step up, come over to our 90-10. Right, so if you remember those, add some of those in once you get there just to get some more reps of that, all right? If you don't know those, don't worry about it yet. Just keep working this, get into this position and get in the sweep, all right? Let's do it, three, two, one. Raise your arm, it'll pop their foot through and you can still end up in the same position and kill that butterfly, just FYI, all right? So, um, so now, we're gonna get to the same position. This time we're going knee on belly. <laughs> so he made it past my guard, he got here, he's pinning me down, he's playing this game, right? So when he's here, you know, and, and the way he's controlling, this is the way uh, people are, you know, I want everyone now controlling this position because if he controls this way, like I can't invert to get in on his legs. If he just puts his hands on my shoulders, like I'll just keep and I'll attack his legs, right? So what he's doing is exactly the right thing to do is this, right? So in this situation or in any version of knee on belly though, I still have this knee and I can push off with this. Right, so I want to knee him and push him up as this arm is sliding in. Right, and then I'm up and I'm right back to the same position. Yeah, I have to come up a little bit further sometimes this time and get all the way to my knees to get connected, but it's still the same thing. He sits here, we lift, he drives back in, I roll under. All right, <clears throat> so. <clears throat> Yeah, so again, we're here. I'm just bumping him. I, I want to try to get him to put his hands on the mat as my goal, right? Like if I can get to there, that's perfect, right? And then I'm coming underneath, grabbing the hip, coming out, right? And I'm right back to the same spot. Yeah, and at any point, if he doesn't get this wizard, you're on the back, right? That wizard is what stops you from just coming up and taking his back, but that means he just took his post away. So once he takes that post away, that allows me to roll under and come right back in. Does that make sense? Yeah? Can you see it again? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're here. So I'm just bumping him. This arm's coming under, right? Now I'm just scooting my body out and I'm, I'm pushing to get to here again, All right? And then we're back in. I can roll through or I can come all the way up and around. All right, let's do it, through to one. Is when they do the little fancy step across to your hip pass, you know what I'm talking about? Where you start walking and then you cut back and just step across. And they do this pass, right? Yeah. So sometimes like this is really annoying. You'll start turning and following them and then he'll just cut across and step back in to, to pass your guard, right? So like I could, you know, just fall and wait for him to go to knee on belly and then do the same thing we were just doing. But I'm already sitting up here when we land, right? So I could just come up and connect to him right away, right? And then now, since he's standing, I lift the leg. And we sit him down and we go back into our leg drive, right? <clears throat> so again, we're here, I'm playing this game. He steps across, I come up and connect. Stand up, kick his leg out, and we go right to our leg drag. Right? Cool. One more time. <clears throat> and we're here, steps across, come up. Right back in. Can, do you have to stand all the way up? Could you use your knee to kind of judo set him down, like judo throw him down, instead of picking him up and like you're already kind of right there, you could just kind of take him over your knee? <clears throat> I don't know. Once I stand up with him? No, before you before stand all the way up, 
Yeah, like kind of just take like, them and like roll when I get when I here, like right there, and yeah. then dive back underneath. No, 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 backwards that way. Can you get like straighten your legs? Yeah, yeah, without coming all the way up. Like okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Since he's standing and he's based on both legs, right? If he's here and he's based on both legs. It's yeah, it's a little harder to you know push and drive and and try to hit all this. Okay. Yeah, because if I try to sit him back, he just leans forward, uh, right? Because he's base. Right. If I take him off his base, now it's a little easier to sit him down, right? Could you also just front row forward there over your right shoulder? <laughs> I could. Yeah, so we could go. The, the thing is, and you can definitely do this, right? And try it, and then tell me which one you prefer. Because I don't like to dive under from here if I don't have to. Okay. Right? Because this is just like if you tried to hip toss me. Right? Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> right? I'm not from your knees, though, before you got So once, uh, once I initially I connect, this is stand up. Same from here? Yeah. Does that work or no? You could. Um, I'm, I'm not going to have as much momentum. Okay. So if he's bigger than me, or he just lets go of his wizard. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> so this is why anytime like he's based on both legs if i can get him off a leg it's gonna make it a lot easier right you know so you know so you can definitely do those things this is where like when we're doing the hip toss like i'm already getting hip toss right so i just dive under and go with it right but if i don't get hip toss the next thing I'm going to do is drive my hips in and lift that leg, get him on one leg and then sit him down. Make sense? Cool. Can you say it again or are we good? I don't think so. Okay, let's do it. You get to this uh, trip position, right? So once I get up and get here, if you, know, if you can't shoot your hips in and make them light to sit them down, you know, if they're too big, like if Solomon or they're way, you know, way taller, way bigger, way stronger, you're just like, ar, ar, this isn't working, then you just reach up and grab this far shoulder, block the foot, right? And then I'm going to try to feed his own knee to his face. Spin, spin, spin. Right? <clears throat> and we end up in the same spot. You know, so... Yeah, you know, so it's one of those, you know, like you can play it either way. I can try to shoot in. If I can lift him, cool. I just kick the leg out, sit him down. If for some reason I can't lift him, then I grab the shoulder, block the foot, and then I spin him and take him down. Yeah, you know, so either way I can get it. And I can go back and forth. Um, like Eli was trying to get an L and he was hopping over the foot. So if he hops over the foot, shoot your hips in, kick the foot out, right? <laughs> Yeah, so you can just go back and forth with them depending on how they're defending, right? <clears throat> cool. Any questions over anything we did? No? Cool. So this is this is a position that it seems really funky and it seems like it wouldn't give you a lot of options, but like and it feels like you're giving up position, but you're not, because you're gaining control of their hips. And since I have control of their hips, I move them. You know, so you can look from the, for this from a lot of different spots. Like I said, we didn't go over the most basic place that everyone gets to this, which is you know playing the lockdown game and coming up to dogfight and then catching it when they have your wizard and rolling underneath. You know, so you know if you if you know what that is, you know that's another spot you can get to this. You know, but I wanted to use this in conjunction with you know just dealing with uh, you know guard passing and all that situation. You know, because these are, you know, common situations you're going to deal with. You know, them either passing, getting past, going knee on belly, all of this stuff. You know, if I can just get right back to that position and create the sweep off of it, then no harm, no foul, right? I'm back on top and I'm in, in control of the match again, right? Cool. All right, let's get a picture. <clears throat>